My name is Tony Schmidt. I've been teaching at Taft High School now for five years. I have been teaching in Chicago Public Schools for the last 12 years. So I've been interested in 3D printing for a really long time. I found robotics in, in right before I came to Taft and I realized that this was a really good opportunity to get students engaged in, in real world skills that they could really do. Robotics has allowed me to do is take this thing that I was interested in and, and bring that to students in a real way that they're able to take their ideas and, and really amplify them. We compete in what's called FIRST Robotics Competition. And this competition allows them to create and learn, and so we had to try and figure out how we were going to work in this new competition. And we decided that we were going to try and have a robot that did it all. The build season is so short. There's only six to eight weeks to really build and design something that's going to actually be able to need to work on the field. There just isn't enough time to really take something from idea to completion, and 3D printing is what allows that to happen. We may need to change a gear ratio by a little bit each time, and 3D printing allows us to change those things very quickly. So the ability that students are able to quickly iterate and quickly prototype and design these things is only possible because in part due to 3D printing. We won our regional competition in 2022 and that qualified us in 2022 to go to the World Championships in Houston, Texas, which was a great opportunity for the students. In 2023, we won the Imagery Award. When we won it again in 2024, we won the, the Creativity Award for engaging and building and designing a robot that engaged with the game in a unique way because of our ability to design and prototype a robot that was effective at the game. FIRST Robotics Competition is a very expensive competition that we wouldn't be able to do without support of our school and our sponsors. That's actually supported by Creality Printers. Wouldn't be possible to do all the things that we needed to do without the sponsorship of Creality, so we really wanted to say thank you. The teaching of 3D printing is a process that is pretty challenging in the fact of just getting students to get to that initial point where they're seeing their thing that's in front of them. This radio holder is a really good example of perseverance and challenge with design. So we had a student that created, I think this is iteration six, of he wanted something that would be on the robot for the competition. He wanted to be helpful. He was able to learn how to use a 3D printer to be able to make the thing that he wanted to and he currently has something that's on the robot that went to competition. And students don't have a whole lot of opportunity up until this point to really bring the ideas that they have in their head and bring them into the world on the physical side. They, they have lots of ideas but this is their first opportunity to bring real world things into the physical space and it gives them the opportunity to play with their imagination in a new and different way. Students in, in robotics really have the opportunity to imagine it, make it. And as we grow that, we hope to really engage more departments like theater of creating props and creating things that they can engage with the science department and being able to create tools and things that they can use and really connecting with the students as a whole and instead of just with robotics. Taft plans to add eight new printers in the Creality line to support what is happening in the classroom and the fact that we are moving into an amount of printers that will make it so that we have a workforce of printers that can actually implement the designs and effectively build the objects that the students have in their brains is going to make a world of difference in my classroom and the after school programs. I think the reading printing is going to continue to expand and be able to be applied in STEM more and more. I think that as we move out of 3D printing being a thing that you have to learn as itself and something that you do as a hobby of 3D printing and move more into 3D printing as an, a way to create the things that you want. I think that's where STEM is really going to engage in that process and start to see more uh, interactive and expressive opportunities to engage in 3D printing in the STEM space. I think that 3D printing has moved into a new stage where 
creating something that exists is, is easier and easier these days. And I think that it's going to allow students the opportunity in the future to really have a tool that is easier to use and is actually very expressive for them, that it makes it possible for them to learn differently. And as those students become adults and educators themselves and have these tools, they're going to then use them in their teaching practice and make it possible for a very manipulative and interactive environment to learn.